Hello, and welcome back to Youth Code Jam's online Bits and Bytes lessons. My name is Jen. I'm a lead instructor with Youth Code Jam, and I will be walking you through the activity today. Um, in celebration of the spooky season, or Halloween, we're going to learn how to make a simple two-dimensional ghost in the Beetle Blocks platform today. Um, if you haven't done the draw a cube or draw a 2D square yet for Beetle Blocks, don't worry, you won't be behind at all. You can definitely go back and check out those activities if you want a little extra practice, but it's not necessary. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. In a new tab, I'm going to pull up beetleblocks.com. It'll take a second. And I'm going to go ahead and you can launch the program in one of two ways. You can either click Red Beetle Blocks from the menu up here or click the big button with the ladybug next to it, or I'm gonna call it a ladybug. Um, so real quick, in case you haven't done an activity with us before, over on the left, we have um, different kinds of blocks grouped into these categories. Sometimes we call these drawers or uh, palettes or tabs, depending on the program. Um, so we have blocks dedicated to motion, blocks dedicated to shapes and colors, operators, and then there's this my blocks where you can make your own um, ac action with it. Underneath are the blocks in the active drawer. To the right is our empty workspace. And on the far right, we have our stage or screen, depending on um, the, again, the platform. And here you can see that we have, I'm going to turn that just a bit. We have this Y axis here. It's very light green. And then an X axis, that's the two dimensional plane we'll be working with today. Um, typically, it does, um, most things you work with online will be in two dimensions, but this one allows you for a third. Um, I think this program is used to uh, work with 3D printing. Obviously, we don't have that capability, but it could be fun to try out one day, and this will get you kind of used to it. So that's what we're gonna look at. We're not really gonna worry about anything else down here, um, but let's go ahead and get started. So when we start our program, we're just going to have the ghost drawn automatically. So under the control drawer, we're going to get this win green flag clicked block. And then at the very top, we're going to go back into that drawer and get this reset block. So what happens here is that we'll click this green flag. And if we've drawn anything before um, or had an earlier program run, it will clear the space for us. So let's just make sure we're starting fresh each time and that our coordinates that we use to draw with later are actually in the right spot. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is head over to the motion drawer. And we're gonna get two blocks from here. The first block we're gonna get is this go to X, Y, Z block. And put it under reset. And then we're gonna go ahead and get this rotate Z block and attach that underneath. In our go to block, change the zero after the X to four. The zero after the Y to negative eight. And then the zero after the Z stays the same. Um, for the rotate block, change that 15 to a 90. All right. Okay. So next, go on to the shapes drawer and we're gonna get this start extruding block right here. And we're gonna leave it set to curves because we're gonna be drawing the top part of our ghost right now. Um, if you're using the activity sheet, I'm on step four. So on step four, we're gonna head back to that motion drawer and get this move block. And we're gonna set the value from one to six. So what this is saying is we're going to draw something that is six units long. Um, in Scratch, that move block is normally how many steps your sprite might take. And here this is, um, in beetle blocks, it's how long we're drawing something. So we're gonna draw it six units long. Uh, next, go back to the control drawer and get a repeat block right here and change the 10 to a 15. All right, so, so far, like I said before, we're trying to draw the top of our uh, ghost right now. So what we want to do is make sure that um, any repetitive code we do, anything that repeats itself goes in this repeat block so that it keeps our program shorter. And so next we're going to move by one. So we need to get that move one block from the motion drawer. 
and then rotate Z by 12. So we got the rotate Z block and we're changing it to 12. Okay, um, so a couple more steps here. We're gonna go back to in the motion drawer and get another move block, but this one's gonna go outside of our repeat block. We're gonna change move one to move seven. And then we're going to um, take a second and let's see what happens right now. So we're not done with our program, but I just wanna show you guys what we've drawn so far. So I'm gonna click the green flag and you can see we've got that top of the um, ghost. Let me try and change the direction. I gotta zoom out a little bit. Um, so that's the top of our ghost. It's flat on that X, Y um, axis. So that's why I had to zoom out like that and kind of pull away. But that's the top of our ghost. So the next thing we're gonna do is draw kind of the um, jagged lines underneath that make it look like the ghost is wearing a sheet. And the final thing we'll do is draw the eyes. So back on our activity sheet, we're on step eight, and we're gonna go back to the shapes drawer and get another start extruding block. But this time we're gonna use the drop down to change it from curves to lines, All right? The next thing we're gonna do is go to the motion drawer and we're gonna get four, four more of these go-to blocks. So one, two, three, four. And we're gonna make, um, we're gonna change the values here. So these are what we're going to use to draw those jagged lines I was talking about. So in the first one, we're gonna change that X value to um, negative 2.5. And the Y value is going to be negative Z, or sorry, negative six. And then the Z value is gonna stay at zero. We're not changing the Z value at all, actually. So the Z value on all four of these will be zero because we're only working in the two-dimensional plane of X and Y, right? So in the second block, we're gonna leave X set to zero, and then we're gonna change Y to negative eight. In the third, X will be two, and Y will be negative six. In the last one, X will be four, and Y will be negative eight. And then we're gonna go back into that shapes drawer and get a stop extruding block. So let's test that real quick to see what happens. All right, so you can see now we have the top and we have our bottom. So what happened here was that um, we started in one corner and went to negative six and then back down to negative eight on the Y and our X moved across. Okay, so now we're gonna move onto the eyes and we're actually gonna start by making them a different color than the default tur turquoise or teal color, cyan, whichever one you wanna group that with, um, of our, the ghost outline. So head on over to the colors drawer and we're gonna get this set hue to 50 block and attach it underneath stop extruding. Use the drop down to change hue to lightness and change 50 to zero. That will um, keep everything from filling in and being too heavy. Then go back to the motion drawer and get yet another go-to block. And we're gonna set only the X value to be negative 0.5. So if that's easier for you to see, it's negative 0 0.5 or negative one half. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is eyes are based off of a circle or a sphere. So we need to go get a block that draws that diameter for us and saves us some time. So under shapes, you're going to look for sphere dia. So right here it says sphere dia, that stands for um, sphere di diameter, which is the whole line going across the middle of the circle. Whoops and attach that to the bottom. Change that 0.5 to a two. Um, and then we're actually gonna go ahead and get another one of those while we're in here. So get a second one because we have to draw two eyes and change that 0.5 to a two. Then go back to the go to drawer and get another, or sorry, go back to the motion drawer and get another go to X, Y, Z block 
and this time you're going to change the x value to be 2.25. So if we copied all of our code correctly, we should be able to draw a ghost with some eyes here. Um, let's try it out by clicking that green flag. And there we go. We have our little 2D ghost. Um, so some things you guys can keep trying is see if you can play with the colors, both the outline and the fill color here. Um, see if there's some other spooky shapes you can draw. This is all two-dimensional, so you could try and make it into a 3D ghost. But that's all I have for you guys today. If you are interested in attending a live session, um, those are held from 4.30 to 5.30 Central Time on Mondays and Wednesdays. And you can sign up for them by going to our website, youthcodejam.org, and going under Jam at Home to Bits and Bytes. And then just scrolling down till you find this register for the live session button. Um, we pretty much always have sessions open and rolling. We don't close them till the day of the lesson. So you can go ahead and sign up here. It is free and we have a lot of fun at the activities. Um, so I hope to see you there. If not, the lesson, the videos and the activity sheets will be available after 5.30 um, central time once we've concluded the lesson for the today. Um, but yeah, have a great day.